M0FXB Yesu FT897 and the Digi Rig that you can just see here. It's so tiny. And I've got the cable for Yesu radios. And we're going to connect it to my 897, 857, and 817. They are about £50 for the actual block, which is tiny. Then you need to buy the cable suitable for the radio that you're planning on using it on. So in this case, it's the 897. We've got a 6-pin cable and an 8-pin cable. So if you look here, just be careful. But on the right, you've got the 6-pin and you've got a little noggin at the top. And on the left, you've got an 8-pin and you have three pins at the top there. If you look on this first one, three pins at the top, green at this end, which goes into the digirig. Just be really careful. When it's, when it's lined up correctly, it's gonna not be a problem to get in. It's gonna be straightforward. Look, just easy going. Perfect. Now the six pin, sort of chunky one at the top. They're both marked with this little indentation. Put that on the top like so and then you've got your black and your green i'm still blown away by how small these are and they really work well usb-c to your pc a decent data usb-c so let's plug in the green and the black good to go now if we're over to wsjtx we'll download and run that a couple of settings in your radio and they're very similar for the 857897 move this cable out of the way Hold down the F button. Uh, make sure at number one that you've turned it on because that gives you your extended settings. So we're just going to go to number one. Like so, and that's on already, so you get a few extra selections. Then go to, let's have a look now, number 19 and select 3840 by turning the big knob. Then keep going up. Uh, number 20 is cat. Um, change that. Keep going up to 39, 30. Eh, there it is, 38 digi mode. User U. And then 39 is 0, 40 is 0. And then also 37, 50. I think that pretty much covers it. All right, okay. Come out of the menu. Now we'll just go up and down the band, leave it at 40, and then I'll change the mode just here. I'll put it on Digi. The, the software may do it for us. Right, let's plug it into our PC, look at our device manager. So at the PC, we're already set up because we were actually transmitting using my Yesu 857. I'll show you the settings. Let me go file. We're enabled TX while we're doing it anyway, uh, just to here. But if we go to file and then go settings, and uh, also right click on our device manager to see our COM port. Just go right click device manager. Uh, you'll see that it shows up on mine as Silicon Labs. Okay, COM2. Board ray, if you click it, right click it, and then go properties, go port, and you'll see the board ray is 38400. That's the speed. So that's all good. Uh, and then we'll do radio. You want your, actually, in the general, don't forget to put your call sign grid square. And you can hear it, it's already transmitting now just with these the, these cables. The, the digi rig was 50 quid. The cable was 37, I think. And don't forget how many radios those cables will work on. So I think it was good. Um, so that's what I changed here. Radio, it's eight, eight, look, it's even on the 857. So really, I should uh, change that to 897. There you go. D, which I've just done. Click OK on that. And then just go. It's just carried on working anyway. So file settings. Uh, COM2, board rate, CAT, you don't change this. I haven't changed any of this. I've even got grid tracker connected. Uh, audio, you just select USB 3 on, on mine. It is, yours, yours could have a different name, but just look, the way, the best way to do it is to eliminate the obvious. So if we do the drop down, it's definitely not going to be the video camera that I'm using now. And then virtual, 
the B Audio is is I'm not even using that program at the moment. So I know there's only one left. So that's it. USB audio device. For reporting, I've set these boxes here: the prompt me, clear DX, enable. I didn't change any of this. Only because I'm using Grid Tracker. Otherwise, you don't don't have to touch that. Uh, so uh, so you've got a general tab, and I've ticked all these boxes as well because the grid, grid tracker. Look, three there, and these four. Freeze it, and if you want to use Grid Tracker, then you just download Grid Tracker and, and just run it. But that's it. You can click Test PTD, but it started working straight away on mine, so there's no need. But you can click it. So right, once you on the WSJTX window, we just close this. And you'll see that it goes into transmit when you click here. Now you want to be when it's receiving, you want to be you want to know that just come out there. We're on 10 watts, by the way. We're in digi mode there. You want this to be green. If it's if it's not in the green, then just go into your sound settings. OK, let me just move this out of the way. So you want. Sorry, that radio was in the way. You want this bit here to be in the green when it's receiving. You'll see it in a sec. And then on the right here where the grid is falling, just right click where there's a gap and go set RXTX. OK, that's what I do. And OK, so here's the green. You don't want it too high. Otherwise, just right click your speaker at the bottom. Sound settings. And look for microphone. Just scroll like that. Scroll down, and you'll see microphone. And you can move that slider up and down so that it's just not in. So it stays in the green, and it's not in the red. And that's that one done. Once you've done that, and then we're just waiting for contact now. We're not having much luck, are we really? But just out of the blue, you run it. It'll just start to get contact. And you know, you need to be careful with your signal. I've got a lot of lines on the screen there. It's making me wonder if I. Uh, I've got a charger turned on that's interfering with the because it's quite a weak signal I'm giving out. And uh grid tracker, let's show you that should all should just be running really. Um because I didn't actually close it down. Grid tracker, there you go. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. So let's just click the usual one. All the maps. I need to unclick boxes. I've been ticking everything on grid tracker, but look, we zoom in. We'll get all the information here yeah, as you float over the top of um I'm just gonna untick everything, I think. That's a bit better, isn't it? And you see the see this the live signal there? You can see that going across a live signal. You click this yellow box here, look. You get all your information here as well. And it goes red and green when it receives and transmit. Transmits. You've got it up here. Transmit. And it's like this, like a control panel. You've got your logbook and live. You can select just live if you want. You don't have to have a logbook. It does keep a logbook. Have a little play. Click all the boxes. That's what I do. Click them all. Um, it's just great fun. And QRP, you know, low power. I'm just on a 49 to 1 balance here. And uh, it's working fine. So, you know, big thumbs up for, for the DigiRig unit. Definitely. Completely happy. Uh, and surprised at the size. I mean, it had a, a great reputation anyway. And there's all there's lots of cables. So um, the other cables I might try is only one box. But you've got the cables for the G90. You've got cables that are maybe only one cable when you're using newer radios like the Yaesu 891 and I need to play with it because I've only had it a few days look I've just had a contact here and it's given me a a live window to say look you've had a contact and there's the log so it gives you a little ding dong which is quite nice and then you can see here the, the red thing and it'll just carry on it automatically will receive and transmit back to the station for you until it eventually says 7.3 and all you have to do is click enable TX and you've got this power here to keep the ALC down that's what I use and um, do you know I don't very often need to do it but if you want to just go to your press the F pretty sure you've got ALC on these haven't you scroll through your different meters I can uh, oh, I don't want to mess with it <laughs> it's mid transmit but just scroll through 
you'll meet us select the one for the alc and uh, i want to say a big shout out to the people that are that are coming back to me so we've got m7 kilo echo india we've got uh golf 3 x-ray kilo tango and m0 ksl kcl thank you very much 73 give it a go i know it's a bit annoying i'm just set it up you can dig out those old those old radios um a lot of people have got yesu 89757s all these kind of older radios they've got them in the cupboard they never use them anymore because they're not new but no dig them out do what i'm doing have fun it's great fun i'm literally having a ball here uh and it's and sometimes using the old stuff is really refreshing i really like it seven three take care all the best